Now in this lesson we're looking at bar graphs. Let's start with an example. 700 students at Rowland High School were surveyed to find out how each travelled to school. And the results appear in the bar graph below. Now if we consider this, we can see that the bar graph is drawn on a grid and that would represent one unit. And we count up how many units by measurement. We have 50 units. So when it comes to do your questions on your exercise sheet, what we need to do, what you need to do there, is to measure the distance, the full distance, with a ruler and work from there. Now, how many students walk to school? Well, we look at our walk section there on the bar graph, and we find by measurement that there are seven units across. Seven units across out of the total of 50 units. So the fraction of people who walk is 7 fiftieths. And because we know that there are 700 students, we find 7 fiftieths of 700. And when we calculate that, we come up with 98. So 98 students walk to school. How many students ride bikes to school? So again, we look on our bar graph. This time there's our bike section. And measure across, we find there are 9 units. 9 units out of a possible 50 units. So that's the fraction. 9 fiftieths ride their bikes. That's the fraction. But how many people? Well, it's of 700 students. So we multiply the fraction by the 700 and we get 126. So 126 students ride bikes to school. Now how many students use public transport travelling to school? Well, that's a combination of the bus and there's a train and bus. So some people catch the bus only, others catch train and bus. So the bus only plus the train and bus, we measure that. We find there are 26 units across. So 26 out of the total of 50. So 26 on 50, a little more than a half, isn't it? So we then multiply by the 700 students. And when we do that calculation, we get 364 students. Excellent. Now our fourth question here, our final one, why do you think that there is not a trains only category on the bar graph? So if we look at the thing, we have train and bus, but we don't have simply a trains only one. So sometimes questions are posed to you that you've got to have to think about, not necessarily mathematical calculations. It's more so, we'll have a bit of a think, why might that be the case? Well, a possible solution would be that the school is probably a long way from the train station so that if you do catch a train, then you will need to catch a bus as well to take you to school. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.